This week on the Album of the Week, we're going over in Hypen's Dark Blood. Let's go. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Landon and we are here again today for another Album of the Week. So sorry I had to miss last week, but I appreciate you guys giving me a little bit of time. I'm not going to lie to you guys, I've had a morning from hell. <laughs> to start it off, I literally woke up this morning to Penelope going, ow, ow, ow at like six and if you're a cat owner you know what that means vomit guess where she goes first directly on the rug so i tried to grab the rug from underneath her to get her off of it to go on the hardwood because it'd have been easy to clean up and as i did that i got the worst charlie horse in my leg i think i've ever gotten in my life it was painful so i put the rug to wash realized that the rug's not supposed to be washed so it got ruined in the washer <laughs> great so i tried to forget about it came on youtube and youtube decides to recommend two people to me that have only been doing this youtube thing for a year and have like six hundred thousand followers on there i'm like youtube now's not the time now's not the time <laughs> You know, I do my best. I really do try to do my best. So I'm really here hoping that in Hypen's Dark Blood can give me a little bit of a happier smile on my face. Because we're not starting off too well, sweetie. The whole Charlie horse gave me a headache, so I'm up on Tylenol right now. And like, I'm ready for whatever this Dark Blood's gonna be. So without any further ado, we have already gone over the title track, Bite Me. And I thought it was really good. The same concept, but like a newish direction for in Hypen. And they have six songs in the album, so we have five more to listen to today. Let's go ahead and jump right into them. The first one we're starting off with is the intro to the CD and hype in fate. Let's go. Let's see what you got, Dark Blood. through harmonies given pentatonics okay that was the first song on the album fate they always kind of start with the little talking story which i really did enjoy it was like a poem it was, i mean not rhymey really but it was so intricate in details and like reading these lyric translations it really just goes again to show how beautiful the korean language is like ugh, the way that they put stuff even like you could say it in korean and transfer it into english and nobody would have ever written into english like that if that makes sense and i love that about this they always come through with the storyline and then the the song started too i love the beat with the choir in the back oh and then all of the singing to fate, fade. Like, yeah. Okay, and hyping. Open up that album, boys. I see what Dark Blood is gonna hold. And then, you know, we go on to the next song of the album, Bite Me. Hey, 
I mean, what are you trying to say about that? You know, like, what are y'all, why are y'all trying to get bit? I've already gone through BTS and TXT. I can't afford another group to to watch mature like this. Y'all are all little babies to me in a good way. I promise it's not like a demeaning way, but you know what I'm saying. It's so beautiful to see them growing up mature in their sound as well. They deserve the world. All right, now we're going to be moving on to the next one, which has a music video, which I'm excited about. This is Sacrifice, Eat Me Up. So we had Fate, Bite Me, and Sacrifice, Eat Me Up. I'm seeing a pattern. We need to go get you some help, boys. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Y'all just have a very specific theme, is what I'll say. All right, this is Sacrifice, Eat Me Up. The captions. Sunshine. I love this video. They always have such dark concepts. These visuals. These are all so beautiful shots. The sets they're on and everything. Not the heart on the pedestal. Oh gosh. They got two sides to them. What's going on, boys? Why? Why are you just looking up the stairs? Go up. Unless it's like heaven, then don't sacrifice yourself. You know what I mean? But like... <laughs> Dark Moon. Okay. All right. That was Sacrifice Eat Me Up. The song was really fun. It was very catchy. The oh, 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 oh. But what I was here for were the visuals. That was so beautiful. It felt like it told a story, which I didn't really know what was happening. But I really enjoyed all the different sets. They had two different, like, it's a dichotomy. There's a dark side and a light side. And we kind of got to see them battle and struggle between them both, break through the chains or the, the ropes that was tying them up. But overall, I think that it was such a visually moving video. I'm so proud of them. I know that they've always had these kind of darker concepts which 
I truly enjoyed. I kind of compare it to TXT sometimes having a little bit of a lighter concept and then in Hypen's a little bit more of the darker concepts, which is great to me because I like both. But the song's really good too. I think that I like Bite Me like as a song more, but I don't know. I think I might like Sacrifice as a video more. That was so beautiful. It just makes you think. It just feels like you're going through a museum and these are the different sections there. So good job, boys, on another music video. Well done. All right. The next song on the album here is called Chacone. I don't really know what that means. Like what is, let's see, Chacone meaning. Is a composition of varying sections in slow triple time, typically over a short repeated bass theme. Okay, so it's a musical concept. Old Spanish. Okay, I knew it had to be Spanish because I felt like I had to say it Spanish in a good way, I promise. Let's see what they mean by this. Chaco now is what they're saying. She should care a little bit. Y'all getting drunk? It sounds like he said dance for me naked. That's why I'm like... Okay, Shakona, Shakona, that's how they say it. This song is just given like an aura, like they talked about being drunk in it and stuff, and it feels like it's giving me that drunk vibe. Like you could play this in the club and everybody's like, whoa, you know, it just feels like it's an intoxicating song, if that makes sense, which I really enjoyed. I mean, probably one of my faves here on the album, and it's one of the lesser played on the set, the Spotify here, which Bills is the most played after Bite Me, but I enjoyed that. I thought that was a very fun song that was very cohesive with the rest of the album too, but it felt like a little bit more entrancing, a little more intoxicating in a good way. Good job, boys. Okay, that was Shakona, but Shakone, I don't know. What, what, how how do we say it? Y'all know that I'm not gonna pronounce things right, they shoulda. <laughs> but the next song we're listening to is one called Bills. And like I said, this one is the second most listened to on Spotify after Bite Me. So I'm interested to see why. What What is making everybody fall into this one? I go listen to them paying their bills? I don't know. This is Bills by Enhypen. Let's go. 
It's giving me kiss me. What is this? Okay. See, you're still doing homework. Y'all getting drunk in the one before this. What are we doing? Oh, y'all owe money. Y'all owe money. Don't we, y'all? It's like the slow down version of their songs. But like you vibe with it. I'm already singing it, so you know I vibe with it. The, yeah, hold on. It's given like dancing in Twilight at the at the prom. You know what I mean? If that makes sense? I love that. They really stuck to a whole theme in this. It's like bills, like you're my bill, I'm trying to pay for you. Or it's probably not it. But like, it's due, my money's due, the rent's due, and like, I gotta pay for you. <laughs> no, I'm just thinking about my personal life. But they're saying, essentially, I feel like they gotta pay the price for the breaking up or something like that. And like, he's willing to sign over the bill, he knows it's for the best, he knows it's gotta be done, but like, they're not really gonna pay the price. And then it kind of equates to a whole subject matter of bills and invoices and uh, all kind of office talk is making my head hurt. But in a good way, a good throbbing head ache. <laughs> but I like that one too. That was like, I was trying to say in there, they, that's like their version of a chill song. You're still gonna have that bass, you still got those snares coming back in and really still giving it a vibe, even though it's like more of a chill version of their songs and mm, I enjoyed it. I did. All right, the last song we're listening to today is number six on the album called Karma. Karma is a cat purring in my lap. I've literally been singing that to my cat all day, actually ironically, unironically, because that's not even the right word, but like I was singing it to my cat after she vomited on me in the floor earlier today because I think I scared her, so of course I had to go and like make it up to her and like give her pets and stuff. But I'm just like, isn't this fucking ironic? You woke me up, gave me a Charlie horse, puked all over my rug, my shorts, me, and I still feel bad and want to give you some love. Anyway, that's karma. I mean, but a good karma. Is there a good, such thing as good karma? Let me know. This is karma. Oh, is it going to be spoken word again? I forget they do a lot of that. Nope. Okay, rock stars.
I know y'all want to say it. I bet there's choreo to this. Some songs you can just feel choreo. I know what y'all want to say. Is there a dirty version? Break it down, y'all. Hey, hey. You don't give a what? Tell us what you're not giving. This is giving. Who's playing this guitar? Okay. I like this person, the Shadow by Yoongi person. They don't do the extra music at the end, so all the money goes directly to the people. And they have fun little effects like that. Like, they put, like, effort into it. I liked it. And I liked how that album ends. Like, you usually have a slow ending for the fans. For them to be, like, at the end of the album, I don't give a what. I mean, I want to hear what you really don't give up. But it's just very much subverting expectations. And we turn into rock. And is this kind of like a... I know they are a little bit more of a rocky group in a good way. Not like a turmoil, but, like, rock out. But is this, like, an indication of what's coming next? Like, do they going to do a full rock album? Okay, let's go for it. Let's get it, boys. Let's get it with the Dark Blood. All right, that was in Hype and Dark Blood. I thought that was a very cohesive album. It's giving me very much darkness, evil, all that kind of stuff. Vampire, bite me, sacrifice me kind of thing. I think that I, what I loved the most about this video was the Sacrifice Eat Me Up music video. Something about it, it was just like so beautiful and artistic in such a unique way. And it feels like it pushes a storyline along, though. Don't, don't, don't ask me about a storyline, please. <laughs> My head can't take it right now. But I really liked how Fate came in and started it off. It wasn't just a spoken word we have some singing on there bite me oh my god oh my god sacrifice eat me up the song was good but the video was amazing i liked it chacone i don't know if i'm saying it right it was a very fun song too is not what i expected bills the lyrics of that one written so well and then to kind of wrap it up with karma and rock the fuck out and say fuck y'all i don't give a what i see i see these boys are growing up and maturing into very great storytellers very great young men and i'm proud of them good job and hype and i hope that you all enjoyed this if you did make sure you click like comment and subscribe down below. Join my Patreon if you want to suggest album of the weeks or vote for the ones I listen to every week. Until then, I'll be back with more videos, but remember, I love you. Bye. I would love to know them by name. So,